Hey everybody, Phil Crew, Comedy Cigars and Music, and today's cigar for review is the Jake Wyatt Cigar Company's Herbert Spencer. Off the foot and wrapper, I'm getting some dry hay, barnyard, and just a little bit of sweetness. Well, it looks really cool. Let's see how it tastes. Okay, so right when I lit this cigar, the aroma coming off of it, all I can really describe it as is when you walk into a nice cigar shop, that was the aroma I got. So I dug that. Flavor-wise, a little bit of earth and butter here right at the beginning, a little bit of sweetness. Finish, just some earth. And the retro hail is kind of like an earth and popcorn. So finish maybe a little bit of that popcorn as well. And I will say that the draw is just a little snug little snug on the grill there. So about this cigar, the wrapper is a Mexican San Andreas wrapper and the accents on there, the lighter spots if you will, are Ecuadorian Connecticut. Binder, fillers, all from the Dominican Republic. Yeah that drill is definitely just a little snug, a little snug there. All right, we are well into the first third, actually almost rounding off to the second third at this point. The drill, unfortunately, has stayed about the same. Pretty snug drill. Um, Flavor-wise, some earth, a little bit of butter, and some nuttiness in there every so often. On the retro hail, has just been earth and leather. And then on the finish is some earth, a little bit of butter, and a very faint leather. Um, if I'm being honest, I'm not really digging this cigar. The ash is awesome. Construction's been awesome. Now, if those flavors I mentioned were flavors that you really dig, you might really like this cigar, and that's cool. Um, right now, it's just not winning me over as something that I would necessarily buy again, but we still have two thirds of the cigar to go. So let's see what's going on with that. Maybe see what's driving this animal crazy. Maybe me. I don't know. And we'll go from there. Okay, so, well into the second third here. The flavors have pretty much stayed the same. On the draws there, it's just some earth, butter from time to time, and some nuttiness. On the retro hell, right there is like a very strong leather. Like, almost like a rubber. I mean, that's really strong leather there. A um, little bit of earth on the retro hail. The finish is still basically earth and leather as well. The burn and ash have been great on this cigar. Excellent. No problems at all. The drawl is still fairly snug. Not quite as snug as maybe your mom's pantyhose, but still snug. All right, and speaking of snug, if any of you are interested in purchasing any of the shirts or anything else on the shop, um, I, I have purchased a couple shirts. This is one of them. And they do run just a little small. So whatever size you're wearing or if you're in between sizes, I'd probably go with the size up. So just a little bit of information for you guys there. Man, I'm telling you. Instagram cracks me up. There are some really cool people on Instagram, and there are some people out there just to see if they can get as many followers as possible and have their follower to following ratio be as wide as possible. I can't tell you how many people I've had in the past, even just a couple weeks, that will follow me. I'll follow them back, because that's what I usually do to support other people. Um, and then within a day or two, they unfollow me. I had this one account that was starting a new venture so they followed me, and um, I followed them back. And within two days later, they had unfollowed me. And so I unfollowed them because I don't play that game. And within another day, they had followed me back. I followed them again, and they dropped me the next day again. So I won't be following them again. So if you happen to be watching this, and you do that on Instagram, don't. Because it's not cool. And you look like a dillweed. As some of you know, some of you might not know, I'm a police officer, so 
as much as I try to stay um, clear of a lot of the negative energy out there on social media, it, it finds its way in. It does with almost everybody. And uh, hey, by the way, that draw's kind of eased up a little bit. Nice. And I will say, whereas I don't want to get political here, just from my point of view, okay? It does get a little annoying to hear other people <clears throat> say how we should do our job and also how they think we do our job based off the behavior and acts of a couple people or maybe even a handful of people. Heck, I know that as a cop, um, there are cops that don't do their job as well. And here's the dirty little secret. That's gonna happen in any profession you're in. Now, do I think cops should be held to a higher standard? Sure. Do I think that the human way that we have to hire cops and go through those processes is ever going to be perfect? Not a chance. So that's my little rant. I know I'm going to have people that might be upset by that, and that's all right. I've been thought about as a lot worse person for a lot less, so. Okay, so we are finishing out the cigar here. I will say that, um, like I think I mentioned just a little bit earlier, the draw has opened up a little bit, so that's been good. The flavors have kind of stepped it up just a little bit. There's still that earth in there. The nuttiness is completely gone. The butter's completely gone. But there has been this cinnamon and this sugary sweetness that have come in. And a little bit of uh, like a toasty component in there too. So that's been enjoyable. Retro Hail has basically been earth. And that's kind of the leather I was getting on there too has kind of transitioned to a roasted coffee. That's been nice. Now, with that being said, the finish has been a little bit harsh. Um, still that earth in there, and that leather has stayed in there as well, but that leather is, that leather is harsh. I mean, it's, it's like a really deep leather. It's almost like a rubber on the finish. So that hasn't been, what I would say is optimally enjoyable, um, but hey, what are you gonna do? So would I recommend this cigar? I think at the price point, that this cigar is at, which it's it's not a cheap cigar. Um, the draw issues through pretty much at least half of the cigar and the finish, to be honest for me, the finish kind of, kind of tanked it a little bit. Um, I would be reluctant to recommend this cigar. If the flavors that I mentioned were flavors that maybe you enjoy or you like, then you would have to make that decision on whether you want it, but just going off of my preference and what I enjoy in, in a cigar, I would not purchase this cigar again. Smoke time for this cigar came out to an hour and 16 minutes. As always, thanks for joining me. If you enjoyed this review, have enjoyed other videos, other reviews, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Please make sure to leave all your questions and comments below. I will get to them as they come along. Until next time, guys, be cool to each other, and I'll see you soon.